Greetings to Dr. Angela and Kelvin. We are Group 2 and today we will be presenting our report with the title of Unveiling Trends and Influencing Factors in Measles Vaccination Rates. Our group members are Alice, Jenny, Zukai, Jiachuan, Shenzie and me, Colleen. In 2018, the number of measles cases in the US increased, making it the second worst year since the year 2000. As a result, we conducted a comprehensive investigation focusing on the vaccination rate in the state of the US, particularly California, Colorado, and Ohio. The research questions guiding this study is, how do diverse variables influencing vaccination rates contribute to the formation of valuable insights which guide specific interventions and policy changes to successfully control and minimize preventable diseases? The research objectives are to conduct a comprehensive examination of vaccination rate data sets, to explore geographical patterns while analyzing differences in vaccination rates, to conduct a comparison analysis to assess vaccination rates, and to explore correlation between variables. Looking into the literature review section, the U.S. measles, mumps, and rubella MMR vaccinations policy requires children to take two doses of vaccines. The MMR vaccine is in use for approximately 60 years, costing less than $1 per child. Measles fatalities estimated dec decreased by 128,000 between the year 2000 and 2021. The U.S. vaccination policy aims to reduce measles transmissions with high immunization rates. In the topic of applications of business intelligence in public health, business intelligence is proved to be crucial for analyzing immunization information system data. It is also able to optimize vaccine distribution. However, the challenges in BI projects include organizational structures and resistance to change. Lastly, is data visualization in public health. Multiple literature shows that it is essential for decision making, communications, and outbreak responses. Now, I will pass over to Jashen to continue with the methodology section. Now, let's talk about the methodology of this research. Firstly, we have the dataset used, which are the Mises dataset originally from the assignment, and we have also incorporated an additional dataset about the California state data to dive deeper into the insights of California state. Next, the data understanding and preparation. The key variables in the Mises dataset are enroll, overall, MMR, and the exemption rates for medical, personal, and religious reason. As for the logic understanding of these our, our variables, the school's vaccination rate, also known as the overall, is the percentage from the total enrolled students. It is important to take note that the addition of overall and exemption rates for medical, personal, and religious reason are 100% in total. As a result, the MMR is the measles vaccination rate based on the overall vaccinated. We have also derived two additional variables, which are the numbers of overall vaccinated and the numbers of measles vaccinated. The formula for both variables are as shown. The data cleaning steps involve replacing inconsistent data values, such as 2018 to 2019 to just 2018. Besides that, we also perform filtering in SAS EG Query Builder with proper logic to retrieve a usable and clean dataset. Next, the main tools and techniques used are SAS EG, Power BI, and Python for this research. Lastly, we have four analytical approach, which are dataset exploration that employs statistical measures and visualization in SAS EG. Then we have the geographical analysis that look into the vaccination rates across different geographical regions using Power BI and also the in integration of additional US hospital locations data set. The third approach is comparative analysis, which analyzes on the vaccination rates across different state, school types, and county using SAS EG. And lastly, correlation analysis that investigate the correlation between variables by using Python. Next, I'll be continuing the presentation with the dataset acceleration part. Based on the overall vaccinated bar chart, it can be observed that the number of overall vaccinated students in California is 248254. But in Colorado, there's a total of 12680 overall vaccinated students, and Ohio with a total of 12065 number of overall vaccinated students. Next, Based on the measles vaccinated bar chart, it can be observed that the number of measles vaccinated students in California is 243063. While in Colorado, there's a total of 126 is zero number of measles vaccinated students, 
and a higher with a total of 11608 measles vaccinated students. Next, the list report in this slide shows the 55 counties in the state of California. The table below the list report shows the top 10 counties in the state of California based on the overall vaccinated and measles vaccinated numbers. Moreover, the table shows that Los Angeles has a total of 60763 overall vaccinated students and a total of 59585 measles vaccinated students. Next, based on previous slides, it can be observed that the number of overall vaccinated and measles vaccinated people in California is the highest compared to Colorado and Ohio. One of the possible reasons the overall vaccinated number of California is high might be because schools in California is collaborating with hospitals to give their students vaccination shots in school. Another reason is that the state government of California is conducting heavy promotion in student vaccination. Next, one of the reasons the measles vaccinated number in California is high might be because the state government of California is trying to control the spread of the measles disease in the state of California, as California is a relatively bigger state compared to Colorado and Ohio. Next, Los Angeles has the highest sum number of overall vaccinated numbers and measles vaccinated students. One of the reasons is that Los Angeles might take the most importance in the health of their students and put in a lot of effort to get their students vaccinated. Furthermore, one of the interesting findings from the top 10 table is that the number of uninsured children in Los Angeles also seems to be the highest out of the 10 counties. This is the end of my part and I will pass on to the next person to continue the presentation. Moving on to geographical data analysis, focus on vaccination rate across the US. The main objectives were to evaluate state-by-state -state vaccination rate and investigate the possible influence of healthcare facility availability. The map displayed provides an overview of vaccination rate in various states. The map red and blue area represents difference in vaccination rate across each state counties. Areas below the 90% vaccination barrier are shown in red, whereas counties over the threshold are shown in blue. Going on to a more thorough analysis, California sticks out when we look at individual states. Almost all of its counties have high vaccination rates. Only one county vaccination rate is less than 90%. Ohio presents a different picture demonstrating low vaccination rate across multiple counties. Nonetheless, Colorado stands out as a region in need of focus, since a sizable fraction of its counties falls below the 90% vaccination criterion. This pattern emphasizes the necessity of targeted approach to deal with possible obstacles in these areas. We further our investigation by adding a second data set that examines the availability of healthcare facility. This made it possible for us to compare vaccination rate with the data on the healthcare infrastructure and uncover some interesting links. From this map, we can see that healthcare facilities are typically more concentrated in urban areas, indicating greater accessibility to vaccine in those areas. Moving on to the findings from comparing vaccination rate with medical facility location. When we look at two states with low vaccination rate, Ohio and Colorado, we see a pattern. Places with higher density of medical facility typically have higher vaccination rate. This pattern shows that areas with easier access to healthcare services frequently exhibit higher vaccination rates. Ultimately, the Power BI enabled geographical analysis revealed notable variation in vaccination rate between the, the states, highlighting strong vaccine uptakes in places like California and areas of concerns like Colorado and Ohio. Correlation demonstrated how important it is to have an easily available healthcare infrastructure to promote greater vaccination rates. For comparative analysis, we will first be comparing the number of measles and overall vaccinated students classified by state and school types to explore the distribution and potential factors of students taking the measles vaccination. Summary statistics from SAS EG were used to derive insights that aligns with our analysis objective. Utilizing the sum column in the summary statistics, we were able to bring out a simple formula that allowed us to calculate the MMR vaccination percentage which lies in taking the sum of measles vaccinated students divided by the sum of overall vaccinated students times 100%. So based on the calculated MMR vaccination results by state, Ohio appears to have the lowest MMR vaccination rate among the three of the states. Besides, although the findings in geographical analysis highlighted that Colorado has the lowest overall vaccination rate, which falls below the 90% threshold, it has the highest MMR vaccination rate according to our findings in comparative analysis. This implies that despite of the fewer students who are being vaccinated in Colorado, 
all of them have received the measles vaccination. As further research being conducted, we found that the differences of, M of MMR vaccination rate in each of the state may be aligned and influenced by the Human Development Index, HDI. As reported in Global Data Lab, in the year of 2018, Colorado has attained the highest HDI score, following closely by California and Ohio being the lowest among three of the states. Next, from the school types of point of view, the findings indicated that kindergarten students have the, achieved the highest measles vaccination rate compared to private and public schools. This could be attributed to the suggested MMR vaccination schedule outlined in the Section A of Literature Review, which is the measles vaccination policy in the United States. The recommended age from completing the MMR vaccination is typically four to six years, aligning with the age range of students often enrolled in kindergarten. Moving on, examining the top 10 counties in California in dataset exploration, it is noticed that the Los Angeles County poses a median household income around 61,000, yet it incurs the highest healthcare costs while Santa Clara County has the highest median household income with a lower total healthcare cost, around 8,000. Therefore, our interest lies in exploring the potential factors contributing to the variation in healthcare costs between these two counties. Based on the findings from the summary statistics, it was discovered that Santa Clara County exhibits a higher rate of medical exemptions from vaccination, standing at 2.94%. This suggested that variations in healthcare costs and spending may be associated with the suitability or acceptance of vaccination in the county. So now I'll talk about the correlation heat map analysis. Based on the overall correlation heat map, variable enroll have a high correlation with number of overall vaccinated and number of measles vaccinated with correlation value of 1.0. This has indicated that the number of enrollments of the vaccination in each state of school will highly affect the number of overall and measles vaccinated. Same goes to number of overall vaccinated and number of measles vaccinated, which means there's one increase in one variable value and also one increase in another value. In negative correlation part, the variable overall and XMAT has a strong negative correlation of negative 0.97 and an even stronger negative correlation with expert of negative 0.99. This indicates a significant impact of students exempted from a vaccination for medical and personal reasons on the school's overall vaccination rates. Additionally, XMAT also shows a negative correlation, negative 0.99, with MMR, suggesting that the school with lower medical exemptions tend to have a higher MMR vaccination rates. Further exploration shows a positive correlation between XMAT and XPER as well as the XREL. This suggests that the school with students exempted from vaccination for medical reasons are more likely to exemptions for personal and religious reasons among other students. In California, when more students enroll in a school, the vaccination rates of overall vaccinations and MMR vaccinations also go up as uh, the correlation values are 0.61 and 0.62. The perfect positive correlation of 1.0 between enrollment and the number of both overall and measles vaccinators supports the idea that the enrollment increase, vaccination rates also increase in parallel. In negative correlation part, Overall, vaccination rates have a perfect negative correlation with medical exemptions. Similarly, MMR vaccination rates also shows a perfect negative correlation with medical exemptions, XMAT. Negative correlations of negative 0.61, negative 0.63, and negative 0.64. Between enrollment, number of overall vaccinated, and number of measles vaccinated, this indicates that higher medical exemptions are associated with a lower enrollment and vaccination rates. Finally, I will be wrapping up with a conclusion. The main findings of this study, including the factors contributing to California as the state with highest overall vaccination rate, include effective hospital collaboration and proactive state government promotion. The study also highlights the importance of targeted efforts to reduce healthcare inequalities and provide accessible healthcare infrastructure. Besides that, the positive correlations between uninsured children and healthcare costs suggest lower cost-enhanced vaccination accessibility. The correlation analysis suggested to seek support from community leaders and religious institutions to increase vaccinations acceptance. However, the limitation of this study is the imbalanced distribution of data across states. California with the most data contrasts sharply with the relatively limited data from Colorado and Ohio. Future research endeavors should prioritize obtaining a more balanced data set. 
And this is the end of our presentation. Thank you.